We need to talk, we need to catch up. I've got something fairly big to tell you. I've been getting a ton of questions asking if the Shark Flex style is better than the Dyson Air Wrap, and I'm here to tell you everything that I know and do a styling comparison of the two today. I guess, spoiler alert, I probably won't ever have a relationship with Dyson after this video. <laughs> Both tools have their pros and their cons, but for me, one just comes out on top and I feel like I can rely on it to actually hold my style. Let me know if you wanna see a Matilda Jerf inspired hair tutorial with my preferred tool, because I feel like there are quite a few tips and tricks that I wanna show you of how I actually get that look. And look, I get it. Some of you won't have loads of time to watch the whole video. You might just want the answer from the clickbait title. I can tell you now, the Sharp Flex style is my preferred tool forever and for always. First off, thanks for 350k on my recent YouTube video showing you how to do the Dyson and like how I hacked that. I will link it up here for you if you have a Dyson. I will link all my like shampoo and conditioner below, everything that I've used and everything that I will use in this video. They are affiliate links. So if you use those, I get like a small kickback from the brand. So thank you very much. First of all, a little bit of housekeeping and contextualization. I've never worked with Dyson. I actually asked for the Dyson Air Wrap to be gifted to me and they said no to being really honest i since went on bought it with my own money this was the brand new one that came out in like march april last year and i did a ton of organic content that performed really well loads of tiktoks obviously my like semi-viral dyson air wrap video as well and i was never paid a penny or had this gifted for me it was just making content that I hoped was helpful and valuable. I was paid by Shark in January, 2023. Uh, we did a really great ad together and I'm just really happy that everyone enjoyed it as much as I did. And then obviously as part of the paid partnership, the tool was gifted as well. So let's start with the Dyson on this side. We are gonna blow dry our hair first, hence why I've tied it up. We can talk about the Dyson box. And I think one thing that I love about Dyson is the branding. Like it's very, it's an odd tool, it was obviously first on the market, it didn't have any competition at the time, which is another reason for doing this video because it was like Dyson was the only tool that really ticked that box. People are beefing at me that I've changed my mind and it's like, well, technology will always innovate. Like we get an iPhone one year and in 18 months we want another one. It doesn't mean that we didn't enjoy the one before, but things will always be improving. It will always be that way. I don't have the long barrels, by the way. I never got them just because like I had spent hundreds on it before I even realized there were long barrels for long hair and that's the thing I think if you have a Dyson you will empathize with the fact that you don't want to then invest into either long barrels or like really expensive products to make this already expensive product work which for me I always felt that way so yeah let's blow dry this side add in some product on the damp hair by the way, highest heat, highest power on the Dyson. And remember, I'm only taking it to damp. So yeah, it didn't take too long to get it to damp. So let's switch sides now and I will show you the Shark hairdryer. The Flex Style twists. And then you pop it on like that. And so it's actually a really quite small hair dryer, good to take away with you as well and pack in your bag. So again, high heat and high power for this. The more generalization for this comparison video is that the shark is more powerful and hotter. There's been a couple of occasions where I'm like, oh, can't take it as close to my scalp as I would with the Dyson, which for me is a good thing. And it's louder. I'm just gonna put the product in at the roots. So here are the hair dryers in comparison. Even though the shark is actually bigger and heavier as a tool, when it's down in this hair dryer shape, it feels a lot smaller and easier to manage, whereas this is just like quite large because it doesn't have that twist functionality. And obviously when you talk about prices, so the Dyson is $479.99. Let's call it what it is, £480 in the UK at the moment for this exact set. And the Shark Flex style is 299.99. So it's 300, 480 versus 300 pounds. So the price difference is big, especially because this actually works better. 
So the Dyson comes with a few different attachments. We have these two different types of brushes, two different width barrels. This is really helpful in case you want different sized curls. And the Dyson also has this very hairy round brush, which I love. This is great, especially if you have like bangs or a fringe. This is very hard to compare to. And then the Shark has this funny little thing. I'm not 100% sure what you're gonna use it for. I guess it's like a smoothing brush. We'll see, I might experiment with it. And then the flex style only has the two barrels which are exactly the same size it's just a left and a right so that you get alternate ways of styling the hair which is obviously really annoying if like me you like to go one out one in so i'm having to change these a lot um, whereas the dyson you can just like twist the knob at the top and you can change the direction of the airflow and they have two different size barrels so dyson actually wins when it comes to the barrel comparison. Shark also has a diffuser which I won't show you because I don't use it because clearly I don't have curly hair but it's really nice that they have a curly hair option whereas Dyson doesn't. So again this is like a personal preference if you do have curly hair the Shark would be more applicable to you. It's also nice to see Shark did include a curly hair option and they do have this ethos about the Shark being for all hair types whereas Dyson seems to be less like that. So let's switch out the hair dryer attachment for the barrel. Let me show you the two barrels up against each other because obviously the shark barrels are a lot longer. Almost, I've heard they're shorter than the long Dyson barrels, but still they've got a lot more length to them, which if you have long hair like me, I think does help. I've got these clips just to pin them up because I appreciate the side that we do first will have a little bit of an advantage. See, I'm even giving Dyson a little bit of an advantage in this one. Okay, so I've got the under half my Dyson side, so let's do this. I always get really confused with the arrows as well. I don't think they make it super clear. So high heat, high power, and then I'm gonna pin them. Okay, we've got our first Dyson curl. And in terms of actually using the tool with the barrels, the Coanda effect is the same on both of them. So if you've had a Dyson before, you know how to use it. If you've never had either tool, you just have to learn with like holding it in the middle and then letting it grip and then taking it up to the top. It's kind of easy. It just takes a little bit of practice because it is quite new. Now let's deal with the top half of that Dyson side. So I've just brushed it through. So with these ones now, I'm actually going to turn the um, the barrel in the opposite direction, which I've showed you before. It's as easy as going just like that. I just want to show you where maybe the section I've taken is a little bit too big and it's kind of got a bit like tangled up here and it isn't lying flat against the barrel. And you could say, well, you need to take less hair, but then it takes longer. And what I think the shark is better at doing, because the barrels are longer, they provide more surface area for the hair. Um, but also because the power is stronger, it just kind of like sucks the hair on, like the hair doesn't really have much of a choice. Okay, Dyson barrels done. Also, I want to say at this stage, I have the best shampoo. I've linked it below. It's the kind of shampoo that cleans your hair, but gives you third day grip. It actually does what it says it's gonna do. And loads of shampoos say that they're gonna improve your volume and they just don't do anything. Okay, let's do these under sections with the shark then. So like I said, higher heat, higher power from the shark. If you look closely on the shark barrels, it's kind of more of a, one, two, three, four, five, it's a hexagonal shape and it has these like ridges. I think these ridges help us because I think they allow for more air to get through. Just be aware when you're using barrels for the first time, don't create that tension, otherwise you'll get ridges in your hair. You just don't need to. So high heat, high power, let's go. I'm not gonna talk about my technique at all in this video, by the way. If you wanna watch my Dyson technique, I will link up that video again here. And like I said, I will be doing a proper shark dedicated YouTube video. I think good separation makes such a difference for both of these tools as well. Like when you separate out your hair correctly. Quarter past 11 and my first drink of the day. It's awful, isn't it? Mmm, so. Just take a look at probably the biggest comparison between the Dyson and the Shark. The size difference is ridiculous. So let's put it on low power so I get a bit more control with a high heat. 
considering my fringe was basically dried it's done a good job of shaping it and i used a volumizing spray that just works really well you know the color wow one yeah so it does work but i'm going to show you the dyson one now so can you see i was able to get like a lot more of a curl in it a lot more bounce and then what i do is i just i'm going to roller it back a little bit of that let's come back in half an hour and then do the full reveal we are back i'll link the jumper below it's very nice we're ready to take out the curls it's actually been a bit more like 40 minutes so they have more than had their chance to set so very bouncy very curly and i'll just let them naturally fall a little bit before i actually run my fingers through them slash brush them because the thing is you can brush the shark and it doesn't fall out I also link my tan below because I find it really hard to find something dark enough. I found this one. It's from Rose and Caramel. I found it on TikTok and it's working really well. There we go. So you can already see a little bit of a difference. I think we have a shark on the side Dyson here. This is definitely a lot more like ringlety and tight and this has more volume here. I would run my hands through at this stage. I know you're like technically not supposed to but honestly who's gonna go out like this? Like I don't want to have to bend to the tool. I want the tool to fit in as part of my life and I just felt like Dyson was kind of dictating the way I styled my hair a lot more if that makes any sense. Do you know what I might even get a little a little brush out. Stakes are high with it being Valentine's Day. We're going out tonight. So I'm gonna have to rectify this. Okay, should we do the bangs? Cool. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit again and just come back when it's dropped a little bit more. It's probably been about an hour since I've taken it out. So we have the Dyson side and we have the shark side here. They're not looking like that different. I'd say this side has a little bit more volume. It depends like you can play around with it and like pump up the volume and stuff. Maybe this one has dropped out a little bit more, but I wanted to just kind of like summarize the difference. And I'm also going to do a check-in later because I think that's where you really see the difference. The shark is hotter, the shark is more powerful and the shark holds a lot better. I think that these tools are for people who like doing their hair, people who don't mind learning about doing their hair and who don't mind spending the time and the money. If you're someone who just like wants something to get done quickly, these tools I don't feel like are for you. The Shark has longer wear time. The Dyson, although the branding's nice, it's like smaller, it's lighter, it has different options for the barrel and like the little twist function here, which means you can change airflow direction. And the fact I prefer the round brush, for me the shark still does beat it just because like it's reliable i know that i can do this and the style will stay it's the higher heat and the higher power for me that i don't mind that i don't love the round brush as much as i love the dyson one it's okay that it doesn't come in like a travel box so for me the shark is the clear winner but i wanted to create this video because you might watch this and think actually the dyson is going to suit me better or i might totally put you off both hope that isn't the case i feel like everyone should make an individual decision based on their budget and their hair type and how much they like doing hair how much they want to learn how much time they want to put into this so i hope this video added value i will do my check-in as I said later but I just hope this will help with any decisions that you're making and I've been as honest and transparent and I've literally thought about everything as much as I can I've got a pros and cons list for both on my desktop any questions or comments welcome below and I'll get back to you and also yeah everything will be linked in the description box as well I think you just need to click down here and click see more and everything is there so I hope this helped and if you do want to see more videos I promise I'll be creating some more um do subscribe to my channel and do like this video if you liked it and I will see you, I'll see you later when I do my check-in, but I'll say goodbye for now. Hello, it's 6 p.m. We're going out for dinner in a couple of hours. I did my hair at half 10 this morning. Um, this is the Dyson side. You can see it's like, there's still shape in the hair, actually quite a bit, especially on these front bits, but the body's like gone down quite a lot like this is all quite straight but yeah just in the rest of the hair it just is a bit meh in comparison to like what it was like before compared to the other side so this is the shark side which as you can see still has like big proper curls in it here particularly 
on this bit here. Did lose a little bit of shape in the back. I don't really mind that though because I prefer more of a blowout look anyway, but I'm just feeling like there's a lot more like body and shape and volume in this side as well and it just looks so much nicer. Particularly this bit here has a lot more body still. Um, so there's your conclusion. <laughs>